former friend of the Hart family, is now petitioning for the creation of a national child abuse registry. Our Gabrielle Carroll has been following this story and is now looking into whether that could actually be done. Gabrielle? Jennifer, right now there's no national database of child abuse records. So if a child abuser moves states, it can be more challenging for Child Protective Services to get records on older cases. Alexandra Argeropoulos is the friend who reported the Hart family to Oregon Child Protective Services in 2013. We now know that the Hart family had child abuse issues going all the way back to 2008 in Minnesota. Argeropoulos says record sharing between states could have helped protect the six kids. More than a decade ago, Congress did authorize a national child abuse registry, but that registry was never actually created. The government did make two reports on what it would take to create a registry. The state agencies said it would save them time and help them respond more quickly to protect children. But the issue is that states use different definitions for child abuse and neglect, and many states would have had to change laws in order to give their records to a national registry. That process still hasn't happened. Back to you. Yeah, as I mentioned uh, last week, a tragic story becomes even more tragic. Gabrielle, thank you.